In this video, I'm going to show you how to find all of the 18 lost balls in the original Gothic course on Walkabout Mini Golf. If you want to see what all the balls look like, skip to the end of the video. For hole number one, you can find the ball behind that pillar over there. So proceed past the hole. You're going to go into the room on the right and you'll see there's a mop and a bucket. Inside the bucket is where the ball is and it looks pretty cool. It's like got skulls all over it. Pretty interesting ball. And that's where you get it. For hole number two, if you turn around from the beginning of the course and you look at the back right corner over here behind this like pillar holding up the structure, you'll see the ball is in the corner. You can go ahead and pick it up like that. For hole number three, you'll see the ball will be behind the fountain directly in front of you. If you go to the left hand side over here, you'll see the ball is right here in this little corner. You can go ahead and grab it from this location. For hole number four, we'll progress down the staircase on the right hand side. If you look at the railing on the right hand side, right at the very end piece over here, you'll find the ball in between it. Just go ahead and pick it off that location. For hole number five, we're going to proceed to the end side of this red carpet and you'll see the tombstones on the left. The very final one here that's standing, you'll see this one over here that has these like, like bone plant things. Pick up the ball over there and that's how you get it. For hole number six, you'll see we're going to be turning to the left, looking at another gravestone. It's going to be this one right over here in front of me, the one that I'm pointing at. Walk up from this angle and you'll see there's the ball right there in front of it and you can go ahead and pick it up. For hole number seven, you're going to proceed down the staircase and immediately on your right, as you get lower down, you should see the ball sticks out really easily with the black and yellow. That's where you find it. For hole number eight, you'll actually find the ball on the left side from the start. You'll see there's that bucket over there by the crypt. You're going to walk just beyond the bucket over here. And if you look between the bucket and the crypt pillar, you'll find it on the floor. White and yellow sticks out from this angle. For hole number nine, you're just going to progress to the end of the course of the hole and you're going to look to the right. You'll see there's these cage gutter like sewer systems right behind the first pillar on the side there. You'll find the black, red and yellow ball. For hole number 10, we're actually not going to go to the end after you knock your ball down the grid over here. Take the stairs on the left over here and you're going to go down this first flight and then you're going to go down the second flight and right at the bottom of this flight of stairs on the left hand side, you can already see the ball shining in the distance. This is where it is right there and go ahead and pick it up. For hole number 11, from the starting point, you're going to hit it through the grid over here and you're going to go into the next room just like this and you'll see there is a skeleton tied up against the wall with its skull on the floor. Inside its skull, as one of its eyeballs, you will find an eyeball ball. <laughs> For hole number 12, we're going to immediately look to the left behind the door here at the beginning of the course and you'll see alongside this railing there is a pink ball over here that you can go ahead and pick up. For hole number 13, we're going to go through the door, so progress through this door over here and immediately on the right hand side, as you go through this door over here, you'll see on the right hand side in the corner, you'll find a black ball, a black and gray ball right over there for you to go ahead and pick up. For hole number 14, we're actually going to progress to where the hole is. So we're going to go down these two flights of stairs, one and two, and then we're going to go to where the hole is right here. And you'll see there's a big statue overlooking the hole. And between the legs of the statue, you should see the ball is right there. Go ahead and pick it up, the pink and yellow ball. For hole number 15, if we start here and we look over to the right, you should see the balls right next to you between these two rocks. And you can go ahead and pick it up from the beginning. For hole number 16, we're going to go to the empty brick slot in this wall that fell over over here. And you should see the ball is in the middle there, black and like a shade of orange. And that's where it is. For hole number 17, we're going to progress down the stairs over here. So down the stairs to where the hole is. And you're going to immediately look to the right. So this direction over here. And by the pillar on the right hand side, you'll see the ball is just against it. And you can go pick it up from that location. For hole number 18 is a ball that I struggled to find and it's actually at the very top over here. So progress up the stairs and right by these candles at this location. If you look from this angle, you should see the ball is right there between all of that, just like this. And that's where you find it. These are what all of the balls look like in the course. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.